All right, what's going on? Abstract classes. Abstract is a keyword that we can apply to classes, properties, and methods. But in this video, we're going to focus on abstract classes. Now you can apply the abstract keyword, it's a modifier, to a class. And that indicates that this class is missing components or is an incomplete implementation. So let's take a look. We're using inheritance here. So I have a class vehicle. Vehicle has a speed field as well as a go method. And there's three children classes, car, bicycle, and boat. And these are complete implementations. So car has four wheels and a max speed of 500. Bicycle has two wheels, a max speed of 50. And boat has zero wheels and a max speed of 100. I just made up some numbers for the max speed. I can create a car object, bicycle object, and boat object just fine. These are complete implementations. But unfortunately, I can also create a vehicle object. Vehicle, vehicle equals new vehicle. So vehicle is incomplete. It's missing a number of wheels and a max speed. So imagine that we're having a race and somebody decides to pick the vehicle, but we want somebody to pick a specific implementation of a vehicle, like a car, bicycle, or boat. I would like to prevent people from creating generic vehicle objects. So this is kind of like, imagine somebody picks the invisible vehicle in like a racing game or something. One way in which I can prevent people from instantiating vehicle objects because it's not finished, it's an incomplete implementation, is to precede this class definition with this abstract keyword. So if I precede class with abstract, I can no longer create a vehicle object, cannot create an instance of the abstract type or interface vehicle. So that adds a little bit of security to our programs. If there's a class that you do not want to be able to instantiate objects from, you can just precede that class definition with the abstract keyword, and you cannot create an object from that class. And that's basically what the abstract modifier does. We can indicate that a class, we can also apply this to properties and methods as well, but that's a video for another day. So when we precede a class definition with abstract, we are indicating that that class is missing components or is incomplete, so we should not be able to instantiate objects from this class, which adds a little bit of security. So yeah, that's the abstract keyword. If you found this video helpful, help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and well, yeah, that's the abstract modifier in C-sharp.